hello guys welcome to ramta solutions welcome to your fourth video on projectile motion exercises today we are looking at a case where we say a metal sphere is dropped from a balloon which is rising at a constant velocity of five meters per second the metal sphere strikes the ground after five seconds calculate a what was the initial velocity of the stone as it left the thrower's hand so in this question what we are looking at we are looking at one we have velocity of the stone relative to the balloon which remember we, they say it is dropped so it was zero then we also have a velocity of the balloon which i want to say relative to air is what is it it is five meters per second upwards right now they say the metal sphere strikes the ground after five seconds so delta t is five seconds right now they say what was the initial velocity of the stone as it left the thrower's hand? So this is where we're using relative velocity, right? So I will say initial velocity is basically velocity of the stone relative to the balloon plus velocity of the balloon relative to air. Um, remember, I have covered this uh relative velocity in the video where we say the use of relative velocity in projectile motion um, you can check it out in the playlist of vertical projectile motion so continuing the velocity of the stone relative to the balloon was zero and the velocity of the balloon if i say upwards is positive maybe let me write it here upwards is positive right if I choose upwards as positive um, the balloon is rising so it's going up right therefore initial velocity of the stone is it the stone okay it should be the stone not the metal sphere okay initial velocity of the stone whether it's the stone or a metal sphere it doesn't matter but in this case let me continue with um, metal sphere I think there's a mistake here so it is its initial velocity zero plus five is five meters per second upwards right upwards now number b they say how far above the ground was the balloon when the sphere was released so we are basically looking for delta y we know what is our initial velocity which we said was five meters per second upwards and we know our delta t was five seconds so we are looking for delta y we will use which equation we will use the equation delta y equals vi delta t plus half a delta t squared i'm sure i keep forgetting this i am still choosing upwards as positive I'm still choosing upwards as positive okay I'm still choosing upwards as positive now initial velocity was 5 meters per second upwards so it's positive 5 our time is 5 seconds plus half acceleration is a downwards motion so it will be negative 9.8 again the time is still five so as we calculate what do we get 25 minus 4 comma 9 times 25 so our answer is negative 97 comma 5 meters therefore the balloon was 97 comma 5 meters above uh, the ground right 
above the ground okay the balloon was 97,5 meters above the ground the reason we got a negative here is because uh, remember the object went upwards first okay the object went upwards first so this 90 negative implies that the displacement is basically downwards right so we can therefore say basically this means the balloon was 97,5 meters above the ground all right guys now next time we meet we will be looking at a case where um an object that is inside the balloon was thrown at a certain velocity the velocity will not be zero as you can see now the velocity will be five so we will be looking at this example all right guys with that being said um, it's a wrap we will see you next time and hope this was easier for you Bye-bye.